Hello everybody and welcome to Council of Knowledge. As stated in the 14th article of Albania's constitution, the coat of arms of the Republic of Albania represents a shield with a red field and a black two-headed eagle at the center. On top of the shield in golden color is placed the helmet of Skanderbeg. In this video, I'll try to briefly go over the evolution of the coat of arms as well as the history and significance of those symbols. Starting with the helmet, it's a representation of Skanderbeg's helmet which is made of white metal, adorned with a stripe dressed in gold. On top lies the head of a horned goat made of bronze, also dressed in gold. The bottom part bears a copper stripe adorned with a monogram separated by rosettes. The monogram stands for Jesus the Nazarene, bless thee, Prince of Mat, King of Albania, Terror of the Ottomans, King of Epirus. But who is this Skanderbeg fellow? George Castriotti Skanderbeg is considered one of the most influential historical feudal lords and military commanders in the history of the country for leading a rebellion against the Ottoman Empire in what is today Albania. Moving to the eagle, and although double-headed eagles are not unique to Albania and can be seen representing many historical and current states around Europe, we will be trying to retrace the Albanian double-headed eagle on the flag and on the coat of arms throughout the history of the region. When we move back in time to the 12th and 13th century, we can see the Principality of Arbanon, the first Albanian state to be recorded in history. We can see that the eagle that they used to represent this principality was discovered in the ruins of St. Mary Church in northern Albania. However, this eagle was not double-headed. Although the double-headed eagle was used by the Byzantine Empire, the Serbian Kingdom, and even can be found on some ancient Hittite carvings in modern-day Turkey, we have to wait till the 15th century to find the first Albanian double-headed eagle, which belonged to the coat of arms of the House of Castriotti. We know this by looking at the Book of Greetings given to Skanderberg by Alfonso V, the King of Naples in 1451, where he shows the House of Castriotti's coat of arms, which was the same house that Skanderberg also belonged to. Twelve years later, we can see the coat of arms of the Castriotti family in the Venetian catalogue of coat of arms in 1463, when Skanderbeg's son, John Castriotti II, received the title Noble of the Republic. Two Albanian eagles can also be seen in this picture of the tomb of Constantino Castriotti, an Albanian noble, bishop, and grandson of Skanderbeg. In the words of Marine Bartoletti, a 15th century Italian historian and priest, Skanderbeg bore a red flag embroidered with a double-headed black eagle. This was the flag of his family. After fierce resistance by the Albanians against the Ottoman invasions for decades, the last remaining Albanian territories were added to the Ottoman Empire after the death of Skanderbeg. The double-headed eagle made a comeback four centuries later after the Ottoman Empire was defeated and was used in the 1914 coat of arms of the Principality of Albania. This project idea of the coat of arms of Albania was carved in wood during the period the country was under the Austro-Hungarian command in 1916. The following three Albanian kingdoms from 1928 to 1943 also used this powerful symbol in their different representations and coats of arms. Then after the fall of the three kingdoms came the People's Socialist Republic of Albania that followed from 1946 to 1991. This republic used the eagle encircled by two sheaves of weed with a five-pointed red star at the top and it lasted until November 1992 when the Albanian government abolished the use of communist symbols and went back to Skanderbeg's eagle. So that is the coat of arms of Albania, a great looking double-headed eagle that we can look at and remember a powerful historical figure named George Castriotti Skanderbeg that the Albanian people rallied around for centuries as a national hero. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure to leave a comment below if I missed anything or if I got something wrong. Make sure to subscribe if you want to catch future videos. It really helps me stay motivated to make more of these videos. Anyway, thank you and see you next time.